Welcome to Seven Trumpets Prepper. And guys, welcome to another edition of Off-Grid Contracting. Uh, now what we've got today is solar air heaters. Okay, this is a prefabricated uh, solar air heater um, that we can easily install roughly in a day uh, for customers. This is now being offered by Hurricane Wind Power. They come in multiple different sizes. Um, there are some that can pull the air from outside into the house uh, as it heats it, uh, multi-layer, and then injects it in the house through a uh, solar powered fan built in or there is models offered that pull it from the inside then heat it then pump it in and also can pull from the outside and mix uh, so anyway I'm gonna take you step by step today how to also install this so you know whether you want to have us out do your installation or whether you'd like to do your own we're gonna walk you through it step by step and I hope that you enjoy it okay guys so the first thing you're gonna do in the build process is you're going to find the place that you want to put your solar air heater find the dead center of where you want that tube to come through and then you're going to drill out appropriately um, for that and I've done that right there on my wall right now my son's actually confiscated this corner of the house um, for a couple chickens to put a heat lamp on so I'm gonna actually dump them uh, some more heat now at that point once that you've got your solar air heater out and tested it and make sure it works I'll show you how to wire the switch and everything in a minute uh, what you're gonna do at that point <clears throat> is you're going to take and you're going to mount up uh, the flange that comes with this and it's got a gasket you're going to put your gasket on it and then make sure the flange is in place um, and then once that you've got that in place what you're going to do then is that you're going to take the actual tube um, and I'll show you in just a second you're going to mount that up on the wall draw you a circle around okay so I've roughly etched that out with a pen um, now here is the tube that goes through that's the pass through tube for the heat um, so now that we've etched that out, I'm going to cut that out uh, with a reciprocating saw, and then we're going to figure out our distance that we need to sleeve through. Okay, guys, now at this point, you should, if you've cut that out uh, to that circle, have you a nice little hole there to put the uh, tube through. Now, keep in mind that with this build right here, usually I do everything perfectly and neat, um, but with this issue right here, I knew that this drywall, uh, being this is a mobile home, was going to give me some issues and was going to crack like that probably um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to just put a white plate around that um, the back of that and then this will stub over that and then you know it'll be all neat and decorative so I'm not really stressing about that at the moment but for today I'm just going to cap that in a minute just so we can show you the test run on the heat um, but once you've got that stub through then you just need to measure the distance that you're going to have um, on your air heater that we have here on the floor and then once you've got your distance measured out on that, um, then once that's put back into the wall on the air heater and screwed in place in just a moment as I'll show you, then this will just cap into that and that'll be capped over. And then at that point, um, all that's left to do is run your wires for um, the control module and you're good to go. Now what I'm going to do is poke a little hole like right here in the wall and I'll run that wire actually through and out to that module. And so I think my wife's wanting it about right above this light switch, so I'm going to put it right there uh, if I can get it in there and um, not hit a 2 by 4 just snaking it over. And if we can do that, that's where that'll end up. And at that point, once you've got your control in, you can snake that in with your tube, and you don't got two holes you had to drill outside. And at that point, just put that heater up there, and we're good to go. Okay guys, now at this point we've got the unit level. We've started securing fasteners into it. Um, at this point, down bottom, the vents can be open and unscrewed to let the air in. And now at this point, um, all that's left to do is secure the rest of the fasteners, go inside, wire up the control module, and we'll be pumping out some heat, and thankfully we're about the right time of day to get it going. One note, guys, is once you're done securing your solar air heater, I would encourage siliconing that. Um, now, you could clear silicone this beforehand and then put that on there, but you have the chance of that just smearing out and everything. And I much prefer to silicone things like this after installation. Um, I just think it comes out a lot cleaner and neater um, at that point in time. Now we're back inside. We've got our uh, thermostat mounted onto the wall. Uh, I'm going to stub these wires back into there, get that wired appropriately here in just a moment. Um, and then from there, uh, we're going to get the cover. I'm going to cut me a cover plate to go over that. But for the time being, 
just so you can see how this works I'm gonna pop that in there and then open that up and then we're gonna start getting some temperature readings uh, while we still got some good hours of daylight and uh, we'll go from there for uh, how this is wired on this particular unit um, we've got one and three on the contact um, you can see there how it's open well on this here three and four I'm sorry three and one is uh, marked appropriately and so as that uh, flip this up so we can understand here what I'm saying is you can see right there how that's supposed to be wired and that way the contact will close the appropriate temperature right now we've got the fan blowing in now what I'm gonna go out there and do is shut the vent um, and we're gonna circulate uh, hot air and see what we can get going and we're gonna see what the temperature is outside here it is a whopping 49 48 degrees um, wonder what it is down here in the shade okay guys so I've gave this thing about three to four minutes to start heating um, we're already up to 67.8 um, which is pretty nice and uh, and I'm gonna give this thing probably about 10 um, probably about 10 more minutes now we are currently I think about to hit about three o'clock um, maybe just passing that um, so you know the peak sun lunchtime this thing probably definitely throwed out a lot of heat but as you can see it is definitely starting to climb um, and that is the the fan running that out to it oh hold up almost to 70 um, oh there we go we've equalized out so um, yeah I'm gonna give this another minute or two and oh snap we just hit 71 we're about to pass up the the heat that's in the house here we go Okay, so Luke had to step away for a minute, so I am doing this. This is two days later after it's been installed, and you can see the temperature is still rising. It's about 12.31 p.m. The sun is out, no clouds, and as you can see, that is Fahrenheit. A minute ago, it was at 158 and then it went up to 162 and it's slowly rising again All right, guys, so I've let, um, I think, two days go by. I've been off on some other projects and come back, and we're at 89 degrees. I'm actually going to turn the dial up. Now, I have maxed out the dial. I think the max this is set for is, um, I'll tell you in just a second, is 86. Um, now, I've seen this as high as 95 earlier. Um, but it's definitely doing more than it's rated for, so that's all I care about. It's it's doing more than the specs on it say that it'll do. Now, for those that are curious, you say, well, what's it feel like heat-wise? It feels good. Um, it has a decent flow. Now, this is not going to, you know, heat your whole house. It'll definitely start knocking a dent and things. Now, what I'm curious about, though, at this point now, is I'm going to actually open the vents. I am just blowing air in. I'm not pulling through and then blowing. So this is, you know pretty much circulating the air in my house heating it so what I'm gonna do now is open the vents out there and see what we can get accomplished with that okay guys so right there we are at almost the operating temperature I've opened the vent up on the outside and I'm letting air actually circulate into the house from outdoors and I'm still getting that that temperature registering um, the flow the fan actually kicked up just a little bit more and the flow of heat is actually um, it's it's quite a bit more intensified. I mean, like I'm saying, it's like putting your hand in front of a vent, a normal vent on your house. So at this point, um, I'm just going to get this cleaned up and put my little white cover plate up. I really hate I messed my drywall up. Um, Patch that up right there and just put me a little square plate around that and then the cover. And we'll have this knocked out. And so guys, there's the neatly finished um, our inlet vent. Um, put the wall back together and cut the piece of trim work to go around it and everything. I think it turned out pretty nice. I'm thinking the later I'll mount an additional one right directly next to it 
um, and get that double heat benefit right there. But um, yeah, so uh, that just goes to show you right there how easily you can install that in your home and um, it really doesn't leave a big footprint and you can get the benefit of heating your home uh, from the, the sun. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this build with us today. If you'd like to have us out, make sure to visit us at offgridcontracting.com and we can make this happen in roughly a day's time frame. Um, make sure to check this out at hurricanewindpower.com and also if we do installation for you, there's a huge discount that comes with that. So just make sure to contact us. We'll give you more info. And until we see you again here at 7 Trumpets Prepper Channel, as always, I hope you have a most blessed day in Yahushua. Night.